everyone, welcome to Summer Reading at your library. Today, we're reading another special fairy tale. We're going to be reading the story of the three little pigs. Do you know that one? Well, today, playing the role of the pigs is my friend, Little Pink Piggy, and playing the role of the big bad wolf well, is this friendly puppy. Let's see how the story goes, okay? <laughs> Once upon a time, there was an old mother pig who had three little pigs and not enough food to feed them. So when they were old enough, she sent them out into the world to seek their fortune. The first little pig was very lazy. He didn't want to work at all, and he built his house out of straw. The second little pig worked a little bit harder, but he was somewhat lazy too and built his house out of sticks. Then they sang and danced and played together the rest of the day. The third little pig worked hard all day and built his house with bricks. It was a sturdy house, complete with a fine fireplace and chimney. It looked like it could withstand the strongest winds. The next day, a wolf happened to pass by the lane where the three little pigs lived. He saw the straw house and smelled the pig inside. He thought the little pig would make a mighty fine meal and his mouth began to water. So he knocked on the door. Little pig, little pig, let me in. But the little pig saw the wolf's big paws through the keyhole. So he answered back, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then the wolf showed his teeth and said, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. So he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. The wolf opened his jaws very wide and bit down as hard as he could. But the first little pig escaped and ran away to hide with the second pig. The wolf continued down the lane and he passed by the second house made of sticks. He saw the house and smelled the pigs inside and his mouth began to water. As he thought about the fine dinner they would make, he knocked on the door and said, little pig, little pig, let me in. But the little pig saw the wolf's pointy ears through the keyhole. So he answered back, nope, by the hair of our chinny chin chin. So the wolf showed his teeth and said, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. So he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. The wolf was greedy and he tried to catch both pigs at once, but he was too greedy and got neither. His big jaws clamped down on nothing but air and the two little pigs scrambled away as fast as their hooves could carry them. The wolf chased them down the lane and he almost caught them. But they made it to the brick house and slammed the door closed before the wolf could catch them. The three little pigs were very frightened and they knew the wolf wanted to eat them. And that was very, very true. The wolf had eaten all day. He had worked up a large appetite chasing the pigs around. And now he could smell them all inside and knew that the three little pigs would make a lovely feast. So the wolf knocked on the door and said, little pig, little pig, let me in. But the little pig saw the wolf's narrow eyes through the keyhole and said, nope, by the hair of our chinny chin chin. So the wolf showed his teeth and said, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Well, he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed and he huffed and he huffed and he puffed and he puffed. But he could not blow the house down. At last, oh, he was so out of breath that he couldn't huff and he couldn't puff anymore. So he stopped to rest and thought a bit. But this was too much. The wolf danced around with rage and swore he would come down the chimney and eat the little pig up. But while he was climbing onto the roof, the little pig made a blazing fire and put on a big pot full of water to boil. Then. Just as the wolf was coming down the chimney, the little pig pulled up the lid and plop, the wolf fell into the scalding water. So the little pig put the cover on again, boiled up the wolf, and the three little pigs ate him for supper. Oh my goodness. But the little pigs lived happily ever after. Oh, wolf, thank you so much for your good acting. Thank you, little pigs. I hope you enjoyed the story, and we'll see you next time, okay? The end.